everybody and welcome back to teens tweens and in betweens today is going to be our last program for the month and then we will be taking a two-week break and we'll be starting up the third week of march back with some good old-fashioned minecraft but um as per usual with the last thursday of the month we are going to be doing a um cricket program this time we're going to be talking about svg files so S svg files i don't know why that's kind of hard to say svg files are kind of a really easy way to utilize your cricket design space without really knowing what you're doing i guess um i'm trying to see if you can even see some of the svgs i've used yeah so like this was an svg file i made myself um, then my wedding invitations were SVG files that I purchased from Etsy. Same with this, uh, cool unicorn ant shirt. Uh, yes, I am an ant and yes, I am a cool unicorn ant if you ask my niece. And SVGs are essentially a way to bring a thing that you've already made or downloaded and input it into Cricut Design Space. So like say you've made something, if you're somebody who's handy with Photoshop, you've made something already that has a transparent background and you want to use it to cut something out. So for example, like here with my bridesmaid monograms, I found the little circle and I added in the dots and everything and then I downloaded a monogram font and put all of their names in it. At the time I wasn't really familiar with Cricut Design Space, I think I had only had it for gosh, I only had my Cricut for maybe a month or so, I think, when I was making those. And I wasn't really comfortable with it, but I was comfortable with Photoshop. So what I did was, in Photoshop, I went and created the design, and then I imported it into Cricut Design Space, and then it's basically ready to go. It's got everything ready to be cut out, and it was that simple. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with Cricut Design Space, that's or Photoshop I should say that's totally okay too and that's what we're going to be doing today and talking about so for example on Etsy there's a lot of places where you can purchase SVG files or SVG file sets I purchased a Disney one oh gosh back in it was on sale for like really cheap and it came with a ton of different SVGs and that one will actually import one of those so we're gonna go over here click on canvas um, and then I'm gonna go to upload so here you can see that the compatible files are JPEG GIF PNG BMP SVG or DXF so SVG is just a file type <laughs> so don't freak out if you don't know what I mean by SVG it's simply an extension of a file so say for example if you're somebody who does a lot of word processing you're used to dot DOCX or previously years past it was just DOC um, SVG is just an image file. It's a multi-layered image file, and it's an image file that has a transparent background, if, if you so desire. It doesn't have to, but if you wanted to have a transparent background, it can. I personally, um, before using Cricut Design Space, I used PNG a lot for transparent backgrounds, but um, SVG is really, really great. So if we go here, I clicked on Upload. And we're gonna go to my downloads. And we'll make Disney folder. Where in the hecky heck is it? Here it is, Disney. Okay, so this is a whole bunch <laughs> of SVG files that I have uploaded. Or not uploaded, purchased. So this was in a kit of Disney ones. And I mean, you can see there's 410 of them. <laughs> and I think this whole kit cost me 10 bucks on Etsy. And it's great because when you purchase a digital file on Etsy, you immediately receive an email on how to download it and you immediately get to download it. So if you're in the middle of a project, even if it's like three in the morning and you need it, you know, you need to finish this project before the next day, this is really, really, really awesome, especially if Sometimes, let's be honest, sometimes, wait, why is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in here? I mean, that's, that's fine, but like, if it's not Disney, I'll still take it. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed that. <laughs> Cowabunga! God, I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But, um, if you need to finish something and you're just not getting the inspiration you need, I love browsing Etsy's Cricut area or like searching like 
say I'm looking for a Disney file, look Disney SVG, or if I want, you know, I don't know, something to do with Mm, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You could do Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles SVG and a whole lot of different things are going to pop up. So in here you can see a ton, a ton of things. We're going to go to Mini Crown Castle and see what that one's like. Um, it is saying these are PNG files. I think it's just my computer. I believe these are, at least when I downloaded it, it was calling them SVGs. So either way, it's going to be fine because it's, it's going to be the same concept, but um, we'll just go to that one. And when you import it, you're going to have three different options. You can do simple, moderately complex, or complex. For SVG files, you generally just need to do simple because as you can see with the examples here, this is not a complex design. It's two colors. <laughs> it's black and it's pink. So we're going to click on simple and continue. And here, if you wanted to delete part of it, you would have that option. Um, if you want to delete, you know, the ears, you could do that. Uh, you don't, of course, necessarily want to do that. You can also undo it. So if you delete some parts and then you're like, oh crap, I wanted to keep that undo button in the top right here. So undo, undo, undo. And then at the bottom, you are going to click continue. Now, you may need to use advanced options. This is definitely going to be something that if you're not familiar with Photoshop or I guess photo editing would be a good way to put it. This is something you probably don't want to mess with. Um, in the case of this design, again, there's only two colors, so it doesn't, it's not going to change anything. But if you had a ton of colors and you wanted to reduce it down to like, say there's seven shades of pink, like it's going from light pink to dark pink, you could reduce the colors if it was just black here and then the two pinks or the pink gradient, it would reduce this down to one pink. So we can go ahead and click continue. And here you can see it's got it all in one file. Not exactly helpful now, is it? So if you wanted to do a print then cut, it would be totally fine. But here you can see that it's combined the crown and the Mickey. So we need it to be multiple layers. So here I'm just clicking out the black. So we're just going to get the crown in. <clears throat> And now you can see the crown is good. But we still have this little guy down here. Cool. So we have our cut image good to go. With um, files normally, it would have them separated. Again, I think this is something weird with these files that I downloaded. And I didn't find when I looked at my computer something that was actually .svg. So either way though, this is going to be fine. This tutorial is going to work for you either way. But with an SVG file, it would already have the layers that you want cut, like already split up for you. So you could do that and then upload. Now we have our crown. So now if we want to go back and upload again, I'm just doing the same steps that I just did. We're going to go back to downloads into Disney. And actually, let's see. I see Aristocats. Aristocats is my favorite. Ooh, ladies don't start fights, they finish them. <laughs> oh, did I? I think I might have clicked on the wrong thing. That's okay, we can just go back. Not a problem. Downloads, Disney, Aristocats. So here's a better example. This is typically more what it's going to be like, um, where it's got everything clearly designated for you. Again, we're going to click on simple. <clears throat> Boom. Look how crisp that is, guys. Just look at those lines. Ugh, I love it. And I love the way the L and ladies fits right in her between her ear and her bow. It's like chef's kiss. It's so nice. Although I don't like this blank space, but I can always put like a heart or something there. So let's go with cut image. Let's import this so we can kind of go through the fact that you can do things with this. So we're going to go ahead and shrink this down actually because it's kind of big. So now it's 10 inches by 8 inches. You can see that up here. And you can see over here it does have the image that you imported labeled. 
So if you weren't sure what a layer was or it was minimized like this, you could still see it is Aristocats Lady Stone Star Pikes, but they can finish them. And now if you wanted to go and add something, like say you wanted to add a heart, like I said, to kind of fill up that blank space, You can do something like that. Um, you could also take in our other SVG file that we imported, or our PNG in this case, the crown that we got, which is actually very nice. And if you wanted to, we can move. I'm gonna link these, oops, link these two together. You could also do like a crown on top by using the two different files. Of course, that would, for me, make this way too busy. <laughs> but, you know, if you wanted to, you can use multiple SVG files in one thing. It doesn't have to just be one. You are never limited. You can import as many as you want, as you can see with my upload. Um, it only shows you your recents, but, like, quite a few. <laughs> we, we've done a lot. We've done everything from a moose to a moon, to logos for a friend, Some a lot of these projects were for friends. And you can add as many as you want. You can also see, you know, if I had Cricut access, for example, um, you would see those in here as well. I do not have Cricut access, which is totally fine. But if you did, you would have even more stuff that you could add into it. So yeah, do not be intimidated by SVG files. They are very, very easy to use. So incredibly easy to import, as you've seen. and they're just a really quick way, especially if you're somebody who's not super creative but wants to do things like making shirts and such with a Cricut, it's a great way to do it. They're usually pretty cheap on Etsy um, if you do want to buy them. I think the most I paid for one was like $15, but it was for my wedding invitations, which are very complex, and also it came with um, a whole bunch of different ways to cut out the invitations, and it came with like an envelope. Um, design and a pocket design and different options and things. So I felt fine paying for that. Like I said, I did get all of these Disney ones really, really cheap. I think it was $10. <laughs> I just looked at the receipt before filming this. I think it was like 10 bucks. So you can get them very, very inexpensive and you can use them forever. So don't be afraid to spend a, a dollar or two or a couple bucks on an SVG file if it helps you do a project. And if it's a design that you really like, definitely don't feel bad because no matter what, you're saving yourself money by making it yourself. Hopefully this has inspired you. If you have any questions about SVG files or PNG files or basically anything to do with importing into Cricut Design Space, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will answer it as soon as I can. See you guys in two weeks.